Okay, so I've got some data. <clears throat> I'm gonna scroll in here, zoom in here, and you can see I got new 20, new 525, and then I have hit two, and I have hit three. So let's look at these hits. What we're chasing is fuel pump correction. So we're gonna right click. And we're going to go to our fuel pressure correction max, 8.2, and we're just going to watch it. Okay, we're going to start at the top. <clears throat> Target AFR, actual AFR total fuel correction is adding 3%, RPM boost 24.25, battery is good, TPS is about 100, no knock. Spark is reasonable. Fuel pressure is 64 on a base of 45. So it's already correcting 4.5 pounds. Why is that? Alky pressure is a little low, 85, 95% duty cycle should be higher than that. It's probably air in the lines. Where do you think that video from uh, Topping It Up came from? All right, let's back it up. And See if we can get it to zero correction. Zero correction is 55. Should be about 10 pounds of boost. 13.8. So, okay. So when it goes past, you know, see, well, it is a sawtooth pattern. But for all intents and purposes, from here on, my correction keeps rising. 5.5. Five, that was only 20. 5.5 five again. 24. Five six six eight. What's our fuel doing? Our target and our actual actual's right. It's a little lean. Good. Target is ten four. It's adding five. <clears throat> this is all the boost I plan on running with this car. Might even turn it down a little bit before I give it back to the customer. But I really like that correction to be zero. Right there, it pulls back to 2.8. Hmm. So obviously we got something going on here. So let's go to the log number two. Let's open it. Let's go to... Max correction. No, that's the wrong correction. That's fuel pump correction. That's okay. So we'll start up here. And we'll back it up. Get the boost down. All right. Six pounds of boost. No fuel correction. 48.4. Starts a little correction there. I'm not worried about that. Even two. I'm not worried about two. Uh, three, three, five at 11 pounds of boost. Hmm. Nothing I can adjust on these things is the smoothing. Maybe if I go in and play with the smoothing, that will make it more, less jumpy. So right now we're holding under five. Oh, there's eight. Eight, eight, eight is that limit of my safety. That makes the clock start. Okay, and eight, I'm adding eight. And I'm 108% fuel correction. My target is 10.5 and I'm below it. So we're not leaning the engine out. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's bringing it in. Nine. And then it bumps under 7.5. So that uh, restarts the clock on the safety. Actually turns it off. 8.4. Clock on safety is going. Then back off. So chances are it's not going to hit the safety. But I'm not worried about the safety. I want that fuel pressure correction to be zero. I've got a 5.25 pump on stock lines. I should have adequate fuel pressure. Um, even if I don't have adequate fuel volume, I should have adequate fuel pressure. Now let's look down to Alki. Alki's happy this time. 882. That's what happens when you put your fill your tank up and you're not fighting with gravity. See? Okay, so let's open the last data log. Hit number three. 
I turned the boost down on this guy because I don't want to blow it up. All right, so max boost was now 21, but my correction is still right there. You see 7.4, adding 108 fuel, but I'm still well within my AFR target and actual, and I'm actually going to drop those targets down some more to fatten it up. Fat is safe. Um, 2.1, so that's encouraging. So something's going on. So I've been them five six. I've got to dig in here. What's going on? This car is acting weird. So we're gonna look six one one. Duty cycle's reasonable at seventy five down there. We're spraying all the alky we got. So that's the data. That's why I need data. We don't get this with chips. Okay. Um, so here I am. AccuFab fuel pressure regulator. I'm going to put a gauge on it, mechanical gauge on it right here. I've got my transducer. I'm going to fire up the laptop and I'm going to see if the gauge and the transducer talk and see if this regulator is capable of increasing it. It might be a problem with this regulator. I don't see any fuel in there. Bison made a nice video a while back about these guys leaking. Okay, but we're going to go down that rabbit hole. We're going to see what we can find. I'm going to find it. I'm just not going to let it go. So let's figure it out. 